<laughs> that clip reminds me of that one nuclear close call we had in the United States. You see, a B-52 bomber dropped its nuclear payload in a crash over North Carolina and almost went off if it weren't for one switch. Somebody could have just been walking around and found that lane in the forest and been like, what does this button do? And suddenly... NC is down accounting. You can find a full list of known nuclear close calls on Wikipedia. There are a lot. Hi again guys, and I have to find a video idea that isn't just me looking at things on Twitter because I need to get off that website. That being said, I do always rejoice when I find a quality video shit post account because it's one more brief nose exhale that I get on my Twitter timeline than I would have had before. And today in that vein, I'm looking at the Twitter account hilarious and original. So if you guys enjoy this video, there will be this big card at the end that you can click or tap to take you to another one like it. It would be really Epic of you to do that, and also stream my song, Cracker. I am very dumb because for a non-zero amount of seconds, I thought they were playing Wii Sports in that video. I didn't realize it was just a man having a god-given talent for turning his cheeks into a percussion instrument. That dude should definitely join Blue Man Group. He's already completely covered in it and has all the talents. As horribly clashing as he's managed to make that fit. I mean, in a world where we really should be trying to cut down on waste, I feel like plucking the quill off a bird you see on the way to school and then dipping that in some mud or liquid shit to write with is a pretty environmentally friendly way of taking notes. It's recycling, and I think that kid's very forward thinking. I don't know if you guys have seen this dude on TikTok. If you haven't, you're missing out. All his content is just this Kendrick Lamar music video, 360 degree camera angle. I have no idea where the camera is. It has to be like bolted onto the cartilage of his nose to get that shot. But you just can't not giggle when he flails around like a Goomba getting his innards squished out by Mario. I feel like this should be an actual prescribable treatment for depression. That dude is gonna have a permanent curve in his neck. He's gonna do that thing ostriches have where their neck sticks further out than their heads. I just don't trust resistance training bands in general. It's like whoever made them thought of it as a gag with his friends while drinking. He managed to convince people it was a good workout tool and now laughs to the bank at the amount of people mutilating themselves on accident with it. It's videos like these that make me wonder how big the divide in comedy between me and my kids will be. The anti-gravity-like movement that that coke can had was just the right combination of shitpost and physical comedy to get it out of me. That set of circumstances has never existed in history before, and I'm kind of scared to find out what ones will exist by the time the next generation's of age. <laughs> Okay, let's be honest. It looks like someone jizzed in the croissant and left it on the table for some poor sucker to find. To whoever that cum belongs to, though, definitely check with your doctor about that, because semen is supposed to be blood red in color at all times. Not this weird putty-like concrete gray or white stuff you got going on. Like, what is that? Yo, tell me this doesn't sound like when you're building some shit in LEGO Star Wars, bro. Uh, it sounds exactly like that. And I imagine they had to record the sound from somewhere, so maybe you figured it out. Speaking of LEGO Star Wars, though, the new game just came out, and I have been absolutely creaming at my hoodie seams over it. I played it over on twitch.tv slash quite, and if you missed that stream, the edited version of that stream is meant to go out on my second channel, quote, tomorrow. Love me some self-promo. That's not what he sounds like. He sounds like... <laughs> he sounds like... Whoa! Whoa! I don't get it. He just made the same noise as the speaker. Is it bad that I forget Mordecai and Rigby are based off real animals? Like, they are cemented in my head as the two guys from regular show. Subconsciously, it was always like, wow, what a cool original species design they made for that tall blue guy in regular show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like a laugh you'd use as a meme reaction. You pluck that shit straight out of a Disney movie. That's the laugh you make when Tom steps on a shovel handle and smacks himself in the face with it. That's the laugh of a guy who's just really enjoying what life has to offer as he murders his tenth victim.
That's just footage of what happens to you when you betray Russian intelligence. I swear, when those guys do assassinations, they are not trying to be subtle at all. They're like, yeah, let's use this very specific poison that was infamously developed by the Russian military. Motherfuckers don't even hide their faces. They'd walk up to the court, throw the blower in your lap, and be like, bitch, I did that! Must have been the win. Most accurate thing I've seen in my life. It's even better when you're playing Skyrim VR and this guy who physically looks like he's in front of you, has 20 arrows sticking out of his torso, has been freshly circumcised by a flame enchanted knife, is suffering from 20 different types of poisoning, and just carries on with his day because you're hiding behind a knee-high barrel and can't see you there. <laughs> The girl doesn't even react for a second. She just checks that the camera got it before helping that poor woman up. And I'm glad she's prioritizing the content first. I would do the same. I've seen that filter on TikTok, and it's always someone falling over. I've been really curious to try it, but that feels like actively tempting God to make me conk my head on the floor, so I think I'll sit this one out. Bruh. 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 <laughs> no way. Bill Ratchet is real? I'm so used to only experiencing a lot of these grainy, low-quality images of people as the faces of meme accounts on Twitter that I forget that that person exists out there somewhere. It's embarrassing to admit how long it took me before I realized that Drill's profile picture is actually Jack Nicholson. If a sandwich looks like it's straight out of a cartoon or something, isn't that, like, a good thing? Cartoon TV sandwiches, minus the nasty patty, are drawn to perfect beauty standards. They're meant to be the most conventionally attractive foods you can find. Seeing one in person would be like a dream come true. <laughs> Stuff like that happening as a kid is what convinced me that shit like the Tooth Fairy was real. When I looked for a thing and genuinely could not find it, only for it to turn up 10 seconds later in the spot that I just looked in, the only reasonable explanation to my toddler brain was that some mischievous gremlin was intentionally sabotaging me to make me look like a moron. And you know, after that, suddenly Santa and the Tooth Fairy taken and leaving shit for my house seemed like way less of a stretch. You have fun with the gas. We good over here. I would say that it seems more expensive to have to feed a horse than fill up your tank, but with the way gas prices are going these days, this might just be the smartest investment you can make right now. Sometimes you have to look to the past to find your way towards the future. Let's see it. No, el no, auto de Batman. No, Bruce Wayne. Batman. This looked like it was going to be the most ordinary driving by a car crash video imaginable, and then in the absolute last second it hits you good. The way those cars hit each other and the taxi covered up the Batmobile perfectly set up the comedic timing for the direction that the person filming was driving in. I swear, God makes shit like this happen in this order on purpose to give us a giggle sometimes. Even he's willing to throw us a bone on occasion. <laughs> the girl! The hard question in this video is figuring out which head is the disembodied one. Like, the guy on the bottom is somehow surviving without the top half of his gray matter, and this girl is missing everything from the brain stem down. But with their combined powers, they have achieved fully and autonomously movable eyeballs. <laughs> That's the most accurate dick and vacuum sound I've ever heard. I love that this was a TikTok live too, not some shit that scrolled up on people's For You pages one at a time. Nah, these motherfuckers were tuning in on the edge of their seats, waiting to hear what object he'd bash into the microphone next. Hey, hey, little boy with a mouth so big, you can swipe a credit card through it. There's an endless amount of songs you can put to a video of people or objects spinning in a very strange way to make a decent meme out of. Like, it's a tried and true format. But just remember, if a cauldron full of soup can schmoove better than you, you should give up on learning because you're losing to an inanimate object. Everybody on FaceTime talking about you like Steve Harvey. Hey. Look, y'all really think he look like Steve Harvey? Huh? <laughs> Hey, what's Dude almost gave himself a rug burn with how fast he was swiping. Also, yeah, he does look like Steve Harvey. I've seen that filter before too, so I knew the spider wasn't real. But even with that knowledge, some really primal part of me couldn't understand why the guy holding the phone wasn't freaking out that a spider was trying to crawl its way inside his mouth. I was going nuts thinking that he did that shit on a regular basis in the split second before I realized how fucking dumb I am.
You know, I really just like this account as a whole because it doesn't waste my time. These videos are usually short to the point and most importantly, loud, which is the same thing as funny. It hits every caveman instinct of comedy that I hold dear to my heart, which is all I really want when I log on to Twitter. This is the best example of environmental storytelling I have ever seen. The fear that guy must have felt at being chased down by a robot with a camera, the desperation as he abandons the bike to try and chuck it on foot, it's exquisite composition. Anyways, that's all I got for today. That card I mentioned should be on screen now. Clicking on it would be so hot and sexy of you if you are 22 years old and over. Don't go after anyone I talked about in this video, because doing that would be cringe, and this video is meant in good fun. This has been Quite, and I'm gay.